is not only fast, but the setup is with two monitors, an external Zeik enclosure drive, and this is the star of the show. We're going to go into detail on this thing in this video. This is incredible. And of course, the Mac Mini M4, a foldable keyboard that folds out to a full-size keyboard, and of course, your Bluetooth mouse. Now, let's get it all set up. I can set it up in a snap. That is, if I could snap, I could never snap. All right, set it up in a clap. Now, what I have here in front of me is what I consider the most ultimate portable YouTube studio editing setup I've ever had at an incredibly low cost. By the end of this, you'll see exactly how much it costs and how portable this is. I have two portable monitors, a Mac Mini M4, a Zyk Thunderbolt SSD enclosure, and that's going to be the star of the show. We'll talk about that in a moment. A foldable keyboard, and of course, your portable mouse. All these together give me a very similar setup to what I have at my desktop at home. By the end of this video, you'll know every single piece intimately. I'm going to discuss them and talk about the benefits of each. Now, I have another video that talks about the performance of the Mac Mini and doing editing. You can check that out here. It's against the PC, connected to my home server, so it didn't have a direct drive to it. And it performed really well, but not as fast as the PC in rendering. In this setup, it beats the PC. Let's take a quick look at this Zyk enclosure. The Zyk enclosure is really good. You can put your own M2 SSD in it, and you can upgrade it all the way up to 16 terabytes. So that's giving you more than enough for future upgrades that you might need for a larger hard drive. Now, in my scenario, I used what I had on hand, which was a M.2 SSD, which was just a terabyte. And I used it in a different enclosure that was rated for the Thunderbolt as well problem with it is it was noisy. It had a built-in fan, and as you can hear right now, there is no sound coming out of this thing. It's very quiet. Barely warm to the touch, so it dispenses heat really well. Now let's come for some performance testing real quick on this drive, and that way you can see how it performs compared actually to the SSD built into the Mac Mini itself. Let's go ahead and move on to my monitor, and we'll do a screen capture so you can see everything that's going on. So there's an app I like to use. It's called Blackmagic, and you can download it from the Apple App Store for the Mac. And what you could do is you could tell it which drive you want to go to. So let's target drive the Mac Mini first. I'll just use the download folder because there's a lot of stuff there. We'll open it and we'll start the test. We'll see how quickly it reads and writes. There's a speed there on the writing and then on the read. And it locks in at 17. It locks in at 1706 write. And a read is, of course, a bit faster at 2687. Let's go ahead and save this screenshot here. And I'll just save it to the downloads. Why not? Now, we're going to go ahead and test to the Zyke drive or the enclosure, which is actually the SSD here. And I could just pick any folder here. It's going to be about the same. Now, let's check the speeds here. I look at that. The right is faster. You can see that right off the get go. And the read is faster. Now that is crazy. Let me run that again because I stopped it at the wrong point. We've got the write is faster. And check out the read. Look at this. This is faster speeds than we had on the drive. Now this is incredible. This external drive is faster than the internal SSD on the Mac Mini. That's why out there on the web you can see a lot of people that are promoting external drives and telling you to set it up as your main drive. I'm not doing that. I don't feel a need to do that since I'm pulling all my data and all my editing stuff right from the drive itself, and that's where I'm storing it. But that's incredible. So now you see I have a Mac Mini with a terabyte drive that I paid the baseline price for because the baseline Mac Mini comes with 256 gigabytes, and I can actually upgrade to up to 16 terabytes. So that's an incredible use for this Zyke enclosure. So as you can see here, that Zyke enclosure is really worth the money to get yourself an SSD card in there, and you can make it upgradable to whatever you want. So now I have a Mac Mini at the baseline price, and I can get up to a 16 terabytes of storage if I choose to. And just by getting this enclosure and the M2 card, it was cheaper than going with an upgrade and upgrading the storage on the Mac Mini. Crazy, isn't it? I want to take a quick second and thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you. Please take a moment and smash that like button down below because it really does tell me that I'm doing good and presenting good information for you. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on further content like this and more. Back to the video. Now to real quickly tell you about these two monitors. They are both 
pretty much the same as far as functioning. This one's a this one's considered a 15.6 inch monitor, and that's at diagonal. And of course, it comes with this cover, which is really nice. And this cover is magnetic to help stand it up, as you can see here. It magnetically attaches there, and you have a couple of different positions. You flip this over to hold it so it doesn't slide, and it works out really nice this way. Now this monitor happens to have two USB ports on here, and they could both be powered either through the USB cord that came with it and a wall adapter, or directly through your Mac mini or PC you can power it through the USB-C. It actually has a mini HDMI port as well, which will not power it. You'll have to use the USB-C to power it if you use the HDMI mini port. Then on the other side, it has adjustments and a headphone jack port, which is really nice. Now they both have built-in speakers, but they're really not much to speak of. So I'm not even gonna bother with testing them out because they're not very loud. But as you can see, this one works the same way. Folds up, stands in there. You can flip this over, hold it in place as well. This one has a micro USB port, which is interesting. I guess that's for power. And it has different buttons there for all your settings for the brightness and all that stuff. And on the other side, this one also has the micro USB ports as well that can power it looking up to your PC. And it has a full size HDMI port. This one happens to be 2K where this one's 1080p. Then it also does have the headphone jack as well. And then of course you can get any of these different mice for it. And I like to use the Bluetooth just to make it simpler and less wires. And then this keyboard as well. It's a full size keyboard, which is what I like about it. It doesn't have the mouse pad, but I prefer a mouse and it has the number pad as well, which is really nice as you can see here. And this also connects through Bluetooth. Now, everything you see here, I got for under $1,000, but I got a special deal on the Mac Mini. I got the educational deal. If you have any similar deal that you can take advantage of, get $100 off on that, that'll help bring it down. Otherwise, all this for under $1,100. Let me know down in the comments if you have anything similar to this a setup that you like to use that's portable, that's actually compatible with this and upgradable like this is up to 16 terabytes. Now, Zyke has other products like this extended storage drive for USB for your iPhone, it actually works on Androids too. If you want to learn more about this, check this video out here now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, God bless.